Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Trinity video announcements. I'm here with our facilities director, Brian Eastman, and we're gonna actual serious construction started this week. This or is the real thing. Real thing. Actually serious deconstruction started this week and you're gonna get to see a little bit of it. Uh, yes, we are garbed out as you're supposed to be. Uh, best so people can see that you're in there. Hard hats. Now I would want to point out to you the very high quality fashionable helmet that my friend Brian is wearing. Yes. So, but you see, notice on the side. So, <laughs> the latest in construction wear. So, they did not have those available when I went looking for my hat. So, I mean, so yes. I should make sure and hang yes. on to this. Yes, very much so. It's a collector's item. It is, right, it is indeed. Good, good. So, we're gonna go, this is the side where all the construction entrance happens over on this side door. Uh, you can see we're behind the fence. They don't want you uh, wandering around in here because as you'll see, there is some dangerous stuff in there. For so, sure. For so sure. come along. Now, if you come, when you're here on Sunday, you'll see we're on the other side of the black plastic because this is the entrance that they're using to bring all of the machine, all of the equipment, all of the materials, everything is coming in there. So, and all the debris is going out. And all, of the, and all the junk is going out. So as you see, we have now seriously started deconstructing stuff out of the whole space. Uh, I think a couple of weeks ago when we had been in here, there was some, there was some moldings that had been taken off, some things such as that, but everything is now starting to come apart. Uh, if you look over towards the fireside room, you can see all of the brackets that were used for those sliding doors that are no longer here uh, are off. You can see some places where some things are coming off the walls. It's starting to look... It's starting to look like a construction yeah, zone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's starting to look like a sure. zone. So uh, you will note that there is black plastic. We'll take a peek inside some of this, but there is... That brick dates from 1924. Just so you know. So actually, all of this, if you're upstairs, it all sounds like mice in the attic. Once <laughs> you, you get upstairs. When you're downstairs, it sounds like a herd of elephants so it's <laughs> afraid at the circus, so yeah. So as you can see, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff. If we come on over this way, you can see what's a little bit of what's happening in this area. Good morning. Good morning. You can say hi to our construction foreman here. <laughs> so even if you look in here, there are all of those old bookcases are gone now. And you can just start to see how things are just coming apart and how it looks different. Now in the in the plans, this is going to become chair and storage space. This area right in through here will be will become the new area for storage. The back part will become new area for storage for the kitchen, for the pantry, for all that sort Refrigeration, of freezers Refrigeration. will be back in this area yeah. as well. Yeah, refrigerators and freezers, so. Uh, it will be well lit because it does have windows, so. So. Ah, okay, we'll come this way. We can go peek in this way. You can see where the walls all got laid down on the floor there. We're just waiting on the dumpster to be in. Right, right, yeah, right there is all the clear plastic back. That's the same here. Yeah, right there. There you go. Ooh, here you go. So, yes, it's the open plan concept, as you can tell. So as you can see, that all of this area, there had been walls here, and those walls are gone because part of this is then how to expand the kitchen and then create new storage space. Uh, if you are an aficionado of HGTV, we are here to assure you, we do not need to put in a beam and all of the work <laughs> is done in here. <laughs> and if you watch HGTV, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or subway tile or farmhouse. Or subway <laughs> that's right. So, and if you see over onto the side where that black plastic is, there's actually going to be a new wall with a door because that's the stairway that goes up to the upstairs office, but that then that will be closed off to create this whole new space. What's kind of interesting then as you look at this is that you're able to see how the original building, and this is part of the original 
structure of the side. You can see where the, the concrete beams then that actually hold up the rest of the building, uh, why, they were, why they were able to then just cut this all open. None of those walls had been load bearing. Those rectangular pieces were the places where the beams that hold up the rest of the building. So there you have it. That's what's going on. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty nice. <laughs> the voice of a, of a true construction guy. All right, pretty nice. It's looking pretty good right now. <laughs> it's looking exactly the way we want it. Right. A lot of things At the, uh, there was a meeting. There was a meeting uh, earlier this week, and we are pleased to say that two weeks in, we are still on schedule. <laughs> and we thank you for that. <laughs> Good job, Dan. Yes. So here we are, you know, as you can see, here we're in Wagonoffs, close to where the entrance to the kitchen is, out of the Wagonoffs Hall. And if you kind of take a quick look, you can see some of the things that have happened in there, too. If you have a chance, and actually you can see this on Sunday, that if you look down through here, this, I mean, you can see what once was the kitchen and will again be the kitchen here not too long from now but you can see all of this stuff kind of pulled out it's kind of weird to see all of the yes it is you know all of the debris probably if you're here on sunday probably all of that debris is going to be gone so uh take a good look at it it kind of looks like they were having a good time in there yeah so <laughs> you don't want to be eating the pancakes in there right now no. yeah yeah uh that's why waffle church has been moved out to the gathering area yeah. <laughs> So what we're looking at here are plaster and drywall bulkheads that have been removed so that they can access the mechanical um, facilities in the building because the infrastructure isn't sufficient for the new kitchen. So they'll be adding all kinds of electrical, gas lines, plumbing lines, and sewer lines, Actually, just not supply lines, but sewer lines. And they'll actually go this way and go that way and poke out them. That's what Gary was alluding to. And we ran a big grease trap. There's going to be quite an excavation outside. So there'll be a time when we can come back and hopefully get some of that outside. Grease from a hundred years almost. Yeah. We're very blessed to have a good Hagerman crew with us and we are on schedule as of today's date. And uh, we're actually going to be looking forward in the uh, very, very near future to uh, new wall framing. So not only are we getting to the point where we're done tearing things out, we're about to start putting things back. That's pretty cool. It's That's very pretty cool. cool. Yes. Now, some of the interesting stuff of ripping out sewer lines, that's yet to come. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yet to come. come. Yes. That'll and be another video. Yeah, that'll be a definitely other video. Yes. <laughs> so thanks. Thanks for watching with this. Uh, it's, it's good to see you here. Thanks for your support of our work here at Trinity, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.